rhythm moods three in the key of C. So this chord progression, I would memorize it. I think you could get a lot out of it. But we could start with the secondary chord. And if you wanted to mix up your chord progression where you're kind of telling yourself, I'm going to do the major seven first. And then when I go to the G, I'm going to do this, the G6 to the major seven. Then the D9, I'm going to start with the D9 to the D. Maybe the A, I go A to the A9. And then whatever you want to do with the E. So you could mix things up. So you're getting into the open chords and getting them to sound good. I think all of these are nice moody chords. Now we have to do something with rhythm. Once you've got the chords going, now it's time to start the expression to get into our moods and feelings to get the heart into the strum. Now, once you work with that rhythm and you're starting to express yourself with the loud and soft and the dynamics, maybe the timbre, the coloration of where you're strumming, back here at the bridge, where you're strumming your chord, moving your timbre around, roll into that brushing technique, or up, like down, up, now that could be sharp, or it could be slower but and down down up up down you keep the rhythm the timing's the same but you can do things with your strokes with your rhythm okay with your strum the dynamics and whether it's a brisk strum or a slow arpeggiated almost strum where I go risk. What kind of feelings? What kind of different kinds of strums? Use your imagination. Be creative. Try things. You might make some really great discoveries on this journey of rhythm and moods.